Monstrous cover-up. How the Liberal Party, police and MI5 concealed MP Cyril Smith's industrial-scale child abuse. For four decades, the 29-stone fat bastard politician was free to prey on vulnerable children as young as eight. Police received at least 144 complaints from victims, yet authorities blocked any prosecution. New book details how Smith, who died in 2010, aged 82, was repeatedly protected despite being arrested for sex crimes. MI5 and special branch officers put pressure on police to drop investigations. Child porn was even found in Smith's car, but police were ordered to release him. Liberal Party put his name forward for a knighthood in 1988 in spite of rumours of his sordid activities swirling around Westminster. This is disgusting. If you read the full article, you will realise that so many people knew about Smith's child abuse, but they decided that instead of doing the right thing, they decided to cover it up. Well, Smith is dead now. We can't do anything about him apart from spit on his grave, just like his bezzy mate Jimmy Savile. But what we should do, and what the at least 144 victims should be doing, is calling for the heads of the people who were still alive in the Liberal Party who knew back then and covered it up. They should be calling for the heads of the police who were still alive who knew back then and covered it up. They should be calling for the heads of the intelligence services who were still alive who knew back then and covered it up. Intelligence service. That's such an oxymoron. When Cyril Smith turned 80, Nick Clegg said the following about this paedophile. You were a beacon for our party in the 1970s and 80s and continue to be an inspiration to the people of Rochdale. Clegg claims that he didn't know Smith was a pedo back then. Really? Can we honestly believe Clegg on anything when we know that there are so many people who did know what he was up to? But of course, in true political distancing, a spokesman for Clegg said, clearly he would never have paid tribute to Cyril Smith if he had had any idea about these horrible allegations. But it just goes to show the power that Westminster has to cover up anything when they want to. In the week before the illegal invasion of Iraq, I read an article, I can't remember what paper it was in, but they stated that they were about to reveal that coming weekend that one of Tony Blair's cabinet ministers was in fact a paedophile. The paper claimed that the American Operation Orr had outed this minister as a paedophile and that the full story was coming that weekend. I couldn't wait. I had my suspicions, but I wanted confirmation. And guess what? That weekend came and went, and nothing was mentioned about a paedophile in Blair's cabinet. Or even the fact that the previous story had ever been written. I found out several years later that the government had in fact issued a D notice on that story, meaning that it had to be pulled. The government only let out information when they want to let out information. So now we have this information about the fat bastard paedophile child abuser Cyril Smith, we need to find out who are the people who covered this up. And when we find out and government and police don't do anything about it, well let's just see how things pan out. But sadly, paedophilia is the cement that holds this parasitical elite together. It's utterly disgusting and needs to be stopped. Keep the smiles up. <laughs> Thumbs up. Nick, four years ago I asked you what were you going to do about institutional paedophiles operating in this country now? Your reply to me, Nick, was I don't know what you mean by institutional paedophile rings. Do you understand what I was talking about four years ago now, Nick? And stay in my eyes. Talking about taxes, thanks very much. Oh, thank you. Gotcha. What about Leon?